What is going on and welcome back to another episode of the Coastal Carolina Dynasty. Last week, we did win a barn burner against a Raging Cajun, 23-22. to Didn't think we were going to win. Made some big time stops, moved to 4-3 and three on the year, 2-1 and one in conference. Bye week, now we face Troy. We still have one commit. We have the worst class in America with one commit. And... Yeah, I mean, 400 hours is not a lot of time to work with. We don't have much much to do. We're really pushing after Sean. I'm hoping he commits this week. That would be a massive get. He's, you know, 130th in the nation. Four-star. Quint Hood, we slowly are gaining on. Josh Clemens, Morris Kurtz. Like, these are four guys. These are five guys that we should probably get. Um, Lee Apple, what I really want. Isaiah, Frank. And then, obviously, we're going after Dante Tabor and Kyle Combs, two gems. And, I mean, Kyle Combs has 98 speed, 90 throw power. I want him, like, now. I will put 50 in him every week. Same, honestly, goes for Dante. 87 throw power, 93 speed. Both are insane. And the fact that Vasco wants to transfer, it's just more important to get a quarterback. With that being said, we're going to hop in here. We're going to play Troy. Hopefully win, move to 5-3, and three, and try and just really build all right starting out here on defense we're gonna use her d lineman because last week towards the end of the game it kind of worked and right there i mean we block shed gets in the backfield for a loss of four today we might try and sling the rock i also forgot to change our playbook which i said last week i was going to do and there goes a huge gain of 28 um I got to change the playbook, though. Too much motion that I don't think we have the speed for right now. Um, I mean, Will Whitson is a dog. Absolute dog. Going to miss him next year for sure. Going to miss him for sure. Second and 11. Oh, he went to the wrong side. All right, so following that horrendous display of tackling and just everything, Bennett out there on the screen, big-time pickup. I do want to also, nothing against Bennett, Washington's our guy for, like, I mean, but it, no, Washington's our guy for everything. It He just has to be. He has to be. We might just try and throw the ball today. I know this is stupid because we're a run team, but that's just like that. That play. What? Where was I supposed to go with that football? Anywhere? Please let me know. Second and thirteen. Play action kind of works. Does work. Vasco gets the pass. Forty yards down the day for Vasco. Apparently, we got to average like 250 to like persuade guys to come back, which I feel is like doable. I mean, right there is another gigantic gain there for Vasco. <clears throat> Coleman last week, nine for basically 100, and he's like, ah, I want to transfer. Why? You just had nine catches for 100 yards. Tucker, spin move, touchdown, coastal. We got to just defense, defense, defense. I preach on it. I'm going to continue to preach on it. That actually counts as a touchdown for Vasco, by the way, which is nice. We almost shanked that extra point. 7-7. Seven, seven. Relatively easy. And we threw the ball a lot. Defense just tackle and continue to try and get pressure. And I think we'll have a decent chance in this game. First down here. I mean, that's just unreal. That guy just took our guy's head off. Let's see if we can use Clinton here. Hey, 
I'm sorry, what's going on here? I I mean, they're probably going to run. They, they seem like they're going to run the football today. But they also just had a passing touchdown last drive. And then they do stuff like that. Third and one, though. It's not going to be a first down. We might try and bring some kind of pressure here. They're going to try a swing pass, probably. And it's a f incompletion! We made a play on the football! I could cry. Oh my gosh. Unreal. Washington out in open field. Sounds fun to me. First down, Washington. We might just continue to try and throw the football here. I know that was our game plan coming in. Oh my god, he's open. No, he's not. Yes, he is! Coleman! Climbs the ladder! I thought it was a go route, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is a touchdown. And then he did a post last second, and I was terrified. Washington, use your speed. First down, Christian Washington. Moving the chains. Maybe we try a bubble here with Coleman. I mean, kind of worked, kind of didn't. All right. I mean, we can try here, Simpkins, again, second and nine. Gains two, third and seven. Not what we want, though. All right, third and seven. Malik might be the best bet. Malik! Tiptoeing his way, fighting through tacklers. And Malik, the freak. Touchdown, Coastal, 14-7. Vasco with this second touchdown of the first quarter. We are slinging the rock. Look, I know he wants 250. We'll give you 250. Clinton just swallows him up in the backfield. Loss of three. All right, let's go to... I'm not on any of the guys I want to be on. Nice tackle. Third and 13. Defense. No shot. We get two stops in a row. We haven't done that, I think, in like five weeks. Whitson, though, gets the sack. Down to the two-yard line. Maybe user in the defensive line is the move. Might be the move. It might be. Pizzo here. Oh, I thought maybe he was going to make a man miss. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, let's try and pad, pad stats here. Let's take him up the field. Let Vasco run. Let Vasco run. Get out of bounds. Late hit all day. Should be called. Won't be, should be. Alright. Fake wheel here to Coleman. We might be able to find Carr. Someone has to block him. No one did. No one blocked him. Basco just I mean picks picks up all of it again so it's a third and ten in semi field goal range so not the end of the world but I would really like I mean you got him get in there touchdown coastal our third of the half on his head, says Barong. Another guy who wants to leave. If you want to leave, we're going to make sure we get you the football today. 
because we need you to stay. We need to just field a team next year. That's kind of the main issue. Touchdown for the junior. 21-7 Coastal. Nope. All right, 20-7 to here. First and 10. We're going to continue to use defensive linemen. All right, that's fine. Second three. Let's use Clinton here. Maybe try and shed a block in the backfield. Quarterback's going to keep it. I mean, if he keeps it, you got to hit him hard. Got to try and bang him up just a little bit. First and ten here. Can I explain to you what just happened? And this is... I I'm going to go back to... This is my biggest gripe. And we're, ch we ch we're challenging the play. Because I want to hit replay. And, and instead, we're going to challenge the play. This is, this is my... This is literally my... I, I, I can't go to the menu. Oh, okay. Now I can't. And I can't replay. What is this game? Why in the world? Okay. I'm on this defensive lineman. I go to switch because I want to go on the linebacker that's screaming through the gap. It switches me on to him. What what's the what is the logic? Literally my biggest gripe with this game. What's the logic with that? Like I, I don't I don't understand that. Why would I want to switch on to literally a player that's not even in my screen? Makes z it just makes zero sense. I cannot stand it. Makes zero sense. First and ten here, Coastal. Jet sweep maybe. Nope. All right, third and nine here. Um. It's going to be a false start. Watch. Legitimately clockwork. All right, third and 14. Vasco just doing it himself. Most, I mean, great job there, though. He tells the guy to go up the field, take the defender with him, <clears throat> picks up the first, can't complain. I'm still just complaining over the stupid animation and why we'd switch to the farthest guy. But that's, um, I'm going to complain about that all day. That's a late hit. Protect our players, please. First and ten here. I mean, we got Coleman. Coleman makes a disgusting juke move to somehow evade all those guys. He's going to take us to the two minute warning. Coleman's not hurt. I thought he was. It showed the animation that he was. He's not. So we're fine. Um, I had him originally. Probably should have... I don't know. That's just tough. Nothing's open. I didn't like anything. I didn't like anything. Just get rid of it. Uh, we're going for it. We're at that weird spot. I'm not punting. We're going for two. Got to go for two here. Why? I'm, I'm not surprised. No timeouts left now. 
I'm assuming they're going to, well, I can't, I'm not going to say that. I was going to say they're going to play for a field goal because they've used all their timeouts, but they could very well score a touchdown with this secondary we have. Clinton. Oh, Clinton. I dove a little early. Dove a little bit early or else I, I was there. All right. Let's use Whitson here. Didn't even know there was a guy there. Not a first down, so clock is going to continue to just run here. Third and four. In field goal range for sure. Definitely in field goal range. Trying to think who got ball to start the game. They did. I'm like 90% sure they got it. Oh, we got to get a sack. That sack would have... I don't know if it would have pushed them out of field goal range, but it would have made it close. Barry Bonds checks back in here. James Bond. The hero last week. Oh, my gosh. He had him. Bonds had him again. I doubt this is really going to spike or really going to... Um, I don't know what I'm saying. A sack would have been massive there. Drills it. College kickers are never like 51 yarders. We're, we're drilling nowadays. Come on. It's college kickers, they miss. Got car. I mean, car. Get shifty. Vasco up to about 240 yards, four touchdowns. I mean, we're reaching pretty much every single request you had in order to not want to transfer or sway you. We got 250 yards. You got four touchdowns. You're playing incredible. I don't know what more you want. Hand this one off to Washington. Washington gets to the edge. All right, picks up the first. First and goal. Maybe we hit triangle here on the option. Yep. Oh, we didn't have time. Right idea. Didn't have time to get it out. Coleman might be here for the bubble. Might. We're going to try it. Coleman. Really? I also can't pick another play. Apparently, it's only that one. Sure. Third and goal. Alright, we're going to have to settle for a field goal here. If we can make it. was that left when I went so far right by the way not quite sure about that but the, the Troy kicker can kick 51 yards with ease by the way make sure no one no one forget that the Troy kicker can hit 50 yarders pretty easily I'm sure I am sure balls loose and it's picked up for a first down. Of course. Oh, I thought the ball came loose again. Uh, second and nine. Bring a motion across here. I love how we can't see the... What we're, what we're in. Great job there. Third and ten. Gets to the backfield. Trey Brown. Alright. User Clinton here. We get to him. We force pressure. 
I think using the lineman is the best move. We can just force pressure. And, I mean, we did it right there. It worked out. Pizzo is going to have a decent shot to return this. Oh, solid return, though. I can't be upset. I might try and take a shot here. It's going to also probably be a false start. No. Coleman picks it up. He's over 100 yards on the day. I mean, Coleman, why do you want to transfer out of here, dude? You're lately even a dog and you're a freshman. What just happened? I'll tell you what happened. Christian Washington picked up nothing out of that. That was the best no yard gain I've ever seen in my life. I'm not quite sure though why. I, I, I thought that was a, a pass. It must have been an option. Clearly should not have held on to it. Second and ten here. That that was a disaster. We're not in field goal range because he also couldn't hit a 30-yarder. We're going to try and hand this off to Washington and just see if he can pick up a decent chunk. Picks up five. Makes it a better field goal. Kick is up. Kick is good. So we drill that, yet we can't make the, like, seven and a half yard field goal earlier we're going up 12 still up two possessions but at least now it's it's what a hit i mean three guys right there you think they're soon gonna go hurry up just for the fact that they gotta you gotta score here oh i thought it was more more out Thought it was more out. All right, third and one here. Probably gonna. Thought they were gonna hand it off. They're not. It's fine though. First and ten here. Let me use Clinton here. He's got more points to use. Pickets. Second and ten. Third and six, Fletcher is his fifth tackle for the day. Third and six, get in the backfield, get some pressure. I mean, Eubanks just got made silly. Oh, it's a fumble and it's recovered by Ryan! The defense comes up big! Who forced it? Who forced it? We finally get to the quarterback. Fumbles. And it was Matt. Matt, the freshman. He came up big last week. Forces a major fumble. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Waste some clock here. Washington. Washington is disgusting. Christian Washington. We're going to just, we're going to chew clock. We got to turn chew clock on here. It should be chewing clock right now. I'm not sure why it's not. I think it was on. Might not be. It is on. So it should be happening. Washington, beautiful cutback by Christian Washington. Touchdown, Coastal Carolina, doing what he does best. And that's just being an animal. Disgusting cutback by Washington, though. Saw the gap, slowed down. Eight carries for 70 yards and a touchdown. That, I think that was the dagger. And it's intercepted by Bruce! Bruce! Coastal is 
coasting to a victory. Bruce interception with the pressure there by our defensive line. I mean, this might have been our most dominant win of the year. Because I'm not counting FCS. I'm not, I'm not doing it. That's not... That doesn't count. So then I think this was easily our most dominant win of the year. And, and we accomplished a lot out of it. Vasco had a great game. And he's still having a great game. Washington, in limited action, did what he does best. Speaking of Washington. Speaking of Washington. 82 yards rushing now on 11 carries and a tutty. Defense got sacks, turnovers. For the most part, we kept a clean sheet game. Five and three on the year. I mean, I cannot complain. Just, just, a, just an excellent game. Can we try and score here again? Might be being greedy here. Full start, should have known. That's fine. We're going to get one last play here. One last play. Alright, that's not how we wanted to end it. But we win the game. I don't care. 36 17. We did what we had to do. We win 36 17. I accidentally clicked out of the stats. But Vasco had a great game. Offense had a great game entirely. Five and three. Did we get any recruits? Any commits? I mean, Sean, we're still first. Fournette, we're third. I mean, Coach Prestige, like, McDoom's going down. He is becoming more interested. Vasco is, they kind of went down maybe a little bit. Vasco is your Sun Belt Offensive Player of the Week. I mean, 330 yards, four touchdowns. That'll, that'll do it. Checking out recruiting. I mean, we are like... Are we actually that close to getting both of these guys? Or just top five? Apple White, you need to commit, brother. You gotta commit. Morris, you gotta commit. I mean, we're now first for Tyree Codge, Timmy Ennis, Bobby Vick. Alex here... Ninety Excel, you kind of got me sold. I'm gonna go fifty. I'm gonna go fifty. Morris just has to commit. The guy, the guy's beating around the bush too much. Sean has to commit too. Manny's got to commit. Gordon Peters has to commit before we before he visits Army. I also have a feeling Sean might not commit because Wake 12 is going to go Wisconsin and then Iowa, and he probably is going to be more favored there. Clemens, well, Clemens, all right, Clemens wants to visit. Clemens is going to visit. Get this guy in here finally. I mean, I guess we'll sell him on campus lifestyle. Quint Hood's not ready to, to visit yet. Any of these guys. I mean, Frank is, but like right right now, um, I don't know if, if I send that. Well, he's also scheduled to visit this week. I think I send the house. I think I send the house. I think this is a guy that we make a last second push for. Hewitt. This is big news. Hewitt, we're now in his top three. The number seventh player in the nation. Kurtz, you gotta commit. 
both these linebackers, we have scholarships, that's it. We don't have any corners or safeties. I forgot, do we need... We don't need any corners, we technically need a safety. We still have the worst recruiting class in college football. But this week's big. If we can somehow win this game... If we can somehow win this game with recruits coming, this could be a big week. Five and three, playing App State, not going to be an easy game, but we'll find out. If you did enjoy, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate it, and I'll catch you the next one. Peace.